What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G. Now the 5G version will be out at the end of this year, towards the end of this year, and we learned something new, and it is how much storage is gonna be inside this phone. It looks like the 5G version also will have 256 gigabytes of storage, which will match the LTE only version of this phone, which I did have for uh, previously. Uh, and then I ended up returning it just because I, I didn't really need it. And then second of all, the flip itself doesn't really add that much, at least what I feel to, to the usage of the phone. It's more of a gimmick thing or a in between thing where phones will end up heading. So I didn't feel like it was much needed. It's a nice phone, don't get me wrong um, overall, but yeah, it's it looks like they're gonna have the same amount of storage in the 5G version as the LTE version. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy S20 and the ATCT update that came out recently. And this stuff just gets crazier and crazier for this phone. What a, what a, before I jump into you know the issues with it, this phone has had nothing but problems in terms of its, and almost everything's because of the camera, which is awful, because that's one of the selling points of this phone, and the autofocusing is horrific. The more I test it against other phones, it's god awful. But anyways, guys, the reason they pulled the ATCT update off you can no longer download that update. If you have it, you still have it. But if you didn't get it yet, in which I know a lot of you already got it, they've completely took it down so people cannot download it anymore and won't get this update. You'll have to wait for a future update. Is because of issues relating to, at least what we know so far, the green tint issue, which I talked about yesterday. So some people are getting green tint when they have uh, the refresh rate at above 60. And then also if they have the brightness below 30% or lower, you'll have a green tint on the screen. There's also an issue with fast charging. It, it used to take zero to, zero to 60, it'd go to 100%. Um, in 60 minutes. That has been drastically slowed as well with this update, so it seems like that's a bug. There's probably other bugs as well that this either didn't fix or made broke again, or made broke up. So overall, just a, an awful <laughs> couple of months so far for the Galaxy S20 phone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, are you thinking about trading in your Galaxy S20 phone for another phone? Or are you just gonna ride it out till the next phone comes out? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I plan on keeping it. I don't plan on getting rid of it just yet, so I'll at least keep it. I, I, I assume I'll probably keep this until the Note 20 comes out. Let me know what you're gonna do. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.